Hello everyone, I'm Permal Jagan. Offset, uh, a provider of uh, OSCP certification, has came up with a major update in the OSCP exam format and also the OSCP exam system. Uh, actually, I I'm making this video just to explain that if you are a current OSCP holder or uh, you are you are preparing for the exam, then this video is for you. So keep watching. I'll explain what are all those changes and what you need to. Know. Well, here is the page and the update has released seven hours ago and you see uh, changes to OSCP. Uh, effective November 1, 2024 and the changes will be effective from November 1. Uh, OFSEC will replace the current OSCP exam with an updated version and they mention it as an updated version. So keep in mind, the updated exam version will include the following changes. Enhancements to the active directory portion of the exam, there is a major enhancement and also removal of bonus points. This is actually a significant stuff. So these are all the two, two major changes that uh, applies to that exam format itself uh, or the OSCP exam itself. Well, why the change? To meet the changes, uh, changing cybersecurity landscape the best, uh, prepare our learners for the real world including the most relevant scenarios. We have updated the accurate portion of the exam. This update provides learners the ability to work through an assumed compromise where the learners start with a standard user account on an AD domain with the goal of full domain compromise. And this is the major change in this accurate portion of the exam. That is nothing but you will be given uh, uh, a user credential uh, at the start of the exam. So you will be given an active directory user credential. With that credential, you need to enumerate and you need to uh, gain the domain uh, admin. So that's the challenge. And uh, as of OACP, the only offset certification allows. Okay, uh, this is about the bonus point removal. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't purchased OACP before, but those who are preparing might know this. Uh, you'll be get, you'll be getting some bonus points uh, up to ten points, and uh, those points will be removed. Those points will not be given anymore since uh, i mean from november 1 2024 and that's the major change um, introducing oscp plus and they are just uh, renaming this their certification uh, to uh, uh, i mean they are, they are just renaming their certification as oscp plus from november 1 and what are what i mean how oscp stands out from oscp plus let's see uh, beginning of this date when learners pass the updated exam, they will earn OACP plus certification. So you will be called OACP plus from number one. The OACP plus designation will differ from existing OACP uh, certification in what way? In one way, uh, it, it will expire in three years. Well, wait, no need to panic. Uh, even though the OACP plus expires in three years, you will still have that OACP, right? But uh, when you have that OSCP plus, there are certain things that you can do just to keep that OSCP plus status. Um, let's see how you can keep that. Take and pass the recertification exam within six months of the OSCP plus expiry date. Well, this is the first scenario. You can just do this uh, to keep that OSCP plus status or you can take and pass other qualifying OFSEC exams like OSCP, OSWA, OSCD. You can, you can take some advanced uh, OFSEC exams just to keep this OACP plus and uh, successful completion of OFSEC's new CPA program details of which will be announced in late 2024 and or early okay this is actually the, the upcoming step uh, there is another step there is another uh, way to keep this to maintain this OACP plus so that they, they will be announcing in, 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 in a while fine OACP plus is not only reflect the holders expertise in cybersecurity but also signifies that they are up to date. So that is the major objective of this OACP plus. Uh, they just want their candidates to be up to date, be in the real world scenario. Uh, so that's why they are, they, they are just uh, announcing this OACP plus. Well, uh, the, the plus designation highlights as learner commitment to continuous learning and staying the current in the field that is constantly evolving. Well, cybersecurity is an ever evolving field. So uh, it is essential to be uh, up to date uh, in this field. So that's why they brought this OSCP plus. So by maintaining this OSCP plus, they can understand, okay, you are up to date. You are just evolving. You, are, you, you keep learning yourself. You keep updating yourself. So that's what... Uh, uh, it indicates the plus sign indicates fine the learners who choose not to maintain the plus designation will revert to having the OACP certification and here is a major update those who are uh, uh, worrying about the, the expiry of OACP plus no need to worry they still have the OACP after the three years all right 
the YACP certification has no experience. I, I mean, they just uh, tell like uh, the YACP has no impact. Still, they'll be having that YACP and there is no impact to their YACP certification. That's what they're trying to explain here. Uh, existing YACP holders who wants YACP plus certification, since YACP plus exam is a different exam than the current YACP, existing YACP holders will have the option to sit and pass the new YACP exam and significantly discounted rate of 199 USD. If you are interested in taking a new exam, we'll open registration in November 2024, November 1, 2024 and alert YACP holders of this availability. And here is an important news. If you are an existing YACP holder and here is an update, uh, the price is significantly lesser, uh, 200 US dollar. So by by using the uh, this uh, this price, you can you can just uh, uh, register uh, yourself for the YACP plus exam. All right, and uh, so the YACP cost is significantly high, high, you know, for the new uh, for the for the for the for the newcomers who are trying to get the YACP for the first time. But once you obtain it, uh, if you want to obtain the YACP plus, then which is significantly lesser, okay? The price is significantly lesser. All right, uh, you, uh, here are some FAQs. You will have two options to join live FAQ sessions. So uh, here is the date. Uh, during this time, they are hosting some webinar to explain this process. If you are uh, trying to, I mean, if you are trying to, if you, if, if you need to know more information about this, then you may, you may feel free to uh, attend this seminar. I'll post this article link in the description so that you can uh, access this link and uh, try to understand uh, this process and also the you can register yourself for this webinar. Fine. I already have YACP. Does this change my certification? And it will not affect your YACP certification any, in any way. But you can update yourself to YACP plus if you want in, in a significantly lesser price. Uh, I'm currently going through the PEN 200 course. Is the, the course currently getting new modules to help prepare for the YACP plus exam. Uh, no PEN 200 course content relevant for the exam remains unchanged. Okay. Uh, they made it clear. The exam, uh, the syllabus, the content remains unchanged. They only uh, implemented some uh, little changes in that AD format and also they removed the bonus point. Right? And, uh, and one more thing I wish to tell you, a kind advice. If you are trying to take the exam before November, then I would advise you to take that exam postpone it to uh, November 1 or later because from November 1 uh, if you earn OACP then it will be called OACP plus then you will be having three years of time to take the OACP plus or any additional certification you want if you are taking OACP exam before November 1 then you will you will simply get OACP you will not get OACP plus but if you want to take OACP plus then you need to pay $200 more to get that right so i would i would advise you to take the oacp exam after november 1 uh, if you already scheduled it before if there is a if there is a chance to reschedule then please do it uh, and take it after number 1 if i earn my if i earn my oacp plus what will ha uh, happen to my certification if i don't take the recertification exam after 3 years if you don't take the recertification exam during the 3 years your course certification will lose its plus designation and it will revert to OACP plus then again you need to pay the $200 to, to get that OACP plus I suppose um, yeah and that's what they say uh, I am OACP holder can I get OACP plus yeah you can take it by just paying $199 that is almost uh, uh, that is around 200 uh, USD uh, between Okay, there is a timeline. So between November 1 and March 31, and you need to take the YACP plus certification. If you are a YACP holder, you need to take the YACP plus within this timeline. That is the major update, all right? So you need to take the YACP plus between this timeline if you are a current YACP holder, okay? Remember, uh, can I get promotional price for the updated YACP exam if I am not YACP holder? No, there is no, okay. Uh, will any other certification get plus in the future? We are exploring the adding uh, the plus to many of our existing certification. However, we don't have specific details and timelines at this time. Okay, uh, we can expect uh, uh, even more changes in the others, other certifications of OFSEC. Uh, that is uh, apparent. Uh, what happens if I fail my OACP plus certification exam? If you are a OACP holder retaking the OACP plus exam, and here is the doubt. Uh, after November 1, uh, to get the plus designation, if you fail, you still have your OACP, but to get OACP plus, you have to repurchase the OACP plus certification. All right. 
uh, I am a new offsec and how, how I can learn for OAC field education. Fine. And here is an, uh, here is the thing. Uh, if you are planning to take the exam uh, and here are the steps you need to follow. Uh, select PIN 200 as your course and get one OACP exam attempt valid for 120 days from your lab end date. Uh, learn one subscription. Uh, okay. This is actually a normal steps for the uh, people who are trying to uh, purchase OACP. Uh, select PEN 200 as your course and get two OACP exam attempts. Hmm. Okay. Uh, learn one subscription. Okay. Uh, you, you will get two exam attempts when you uh, choose this option. Get unlimited access to all, all, all online uh, content and uh, unlimited exam attempts during the validity period. So here are the three types of bundles. So I'm planning to uh, purchase OACP so I can, I can maybe uh, refer these links. All right. If you already take the exam without training, you can purchase OACP plus certification without training, which includes two OACP plus exam attempts valid for 120 days from the date of purchase. Well, here is an update. Uh, uh, you can purchase two OACP plus attempts without the course uh, if, if you are a current OACP holder. Uh, I have an active Learn One subscription for PIN 200 that remains valid for a few months after November 1. Uh, I took my first OACP exam attempt and earned OACP certification. Can I use my remaining exam attempt to earn OACP plus? If you passed OACP exam before November 1, you may use the remaining OACP exam attempts from your Learn subscription to attempt the new OACP plus exam after November 1. And uh, here is an update, another update. So if you uh, chose this one, if you uh, chose this Learn One subscription, and uh, you had one attempt and passed the exam, you are currently OACP holder, uh, you have one more attempt that is valid after November 1 also, then in that scenario, you can use that remaining attempt to take that OACP plus exam and you can upgrade your OAC, uh, certification status to plus. So you need not to pay anything additionally. So this is another important update that you need to know, you need to aware of, fine. Uh, let me go and check this, the OACP exam changes. I'll click this link and uh, show what are all the changes in that format. Starting November 1, 2024, the offset current OACP exam replaced. Okay, so here are the changes. Uh, they are just telling uh, why they are doing this. They are updating the active directory portion of the OACP exam and this update will make OACP exam. Okay, fine. Uh, in the past, AD environment was gated with compromise unrelated to AD experience. If a learner was unable to exploit this vulnerability, there would be no way for a learner to demonstrate their AD knowledge for and for offset to uh, adequately assess the learner's AD capability. Further, learners would also need to solve all elements of the AD domain to receive any points related to the AD portion of the exam. A significant percentage of the total exam grade was 40. Uh, finally, uh, an unintended consequence was that our bonus point system also allowed learners potentially dis uh, disregard in AD portion of the OACP exam. Okay. Uh, earlier in uh, OACP, uh, if you want to uh, crack the active directory, then you need to exploit some vulnerabilities b before you get into that AD environment. But they are just completely get rid of that specific uh, approach because uh, they are going to give you a set of credential, the AD credential. With that AD credential, you can enumerate further and you can upgrade it to uh, domain admin. Okay, so that's the change. And uh, OACP exam update provides learners with the ability to work through the assumed compromise when learners start with the standard user account on the AD domain. Well, here is the update. So you will be given a compromised uh, a set of credential uh, from a compromised scenario. So you'll be starting your exam from there. Additionally, OFSEC will now allow learners to earn partial points with the AD domain uh, removing the requirement fully clear the AD exam. Okay, and here is the major update. Uh, in active directory, earlier you need to compromise the complete active directory to obtain the whole 40 points. Uh, so it, it, it was mandatory to compromise the active directory to obtain, to pass the OACP. But now they actually uh, provide the partial points for AD compromise. For example, if there are three machines, then you will get uh, uh, a partial point for every machine's compromise. That's actually an amazing stuff. So you, you, your effort, whatever the effort that you are taking in that AD compromise, then you will get the points based on the, uh, the, the results, based on the effort that you took. The OACP exam format change also enables offset to align industry. Okay, uh, just, just a message. 
bonus points will be removed from OACP exam as of November 1 and that's the update we've already seen and uh, what else? Changes in the exam format. Let's read through this. The OACP exam format change provides learners with the ability to work through an assumed compromise where learners start with the standard user account on Active Directory domain with the goal of full domain compromise. OFSEC will allow learners to earn partial points with the AD domain removing requirement to fully clear the AD exam set to uh, receive any AD exam related point. Bonus points will no, no, no longer be awarded. All right. Uh, yeah. Now, look at this. Maybe by, by seeing this one, you will understand. For active directory exam set, learners will be provided with username and password. That's clear. Learners may accumulate points for machine 1, machine 2 and machine 3. And the, here is an update. In active directory, when you compromise the first machine, you will gain 10 points. When you compromise the second machine, you will you will gain 10 points. When you compromise the third machine also, you will gain for 20 points. Totally, you will earn 40 points. Uh, for every machine, if you can't grab these two machines, you 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 are you are able to compromise only the one first machine, then you will get 10 points from this exercise. All right, and look at this. Um, apart from the active directory, there are three standalone machines. In standalone machines, for user flag, you will get 10 points. Uh, privilege escalation, the root flag, you will get 10 points. 10 points. So, uh, for for every standalone machine, you get 20 points. Totally, three standalone machines, 60 points. Additionally, for active directory, 40 points. So, you need 70 points to pass the exam. And here are the scenarios. If you are getting the whole 40 points from the active directory, then you can simply gain the uh, user flag, the local flag for those three standalone machines to pass the exam. Or you can gain if you are getting four uh, sorry 40 uh, active directory points completely but you manage to get only two user flags one previous flag then you can still pass the exam and uh, if you are getting just 20 active directory points you can still pass it by getting three user flag and two root flags if you manage to get only 10 points from active directory then you can still pass the exam by compromising uh, the remaining three standalone machines fully okay so this is the point and which is excellent it actu it actually made the uh, exam format little easier compared to the previous one all right uh, and look at this uh, this is the timeline so from this time uh, the new changes will be will get effective will be effective uh, from november 1 10 am gmt so from this time only the new changes will get effective and uh, I'm still working on completely, but can I still earn bonus points until uh, October 31? Okay. Uh, what are all the changes that I just described that will be effective from November 1, 10 a.m. GMT? Before that, it won't be applicable. Okay. So it will be applicable only after that November 1 time. Okay. Now, this is a major thing. And uh, I've earned 10 points. So can I take... The exam before November 1? Yeah, if you have earned 10 points from the uh, the, the, the PEN 200 course or something, then you can still uh, take the exam with the 10 bonus points before November 1 itself. So if, if you decide to uh, not have OACP plus, then you can go and take OACP before November 1 uh, just to take the exam with the 10 bonus points. If you're taking it after November 1, then you, will, you, you won't be rewarded that uh, 10 bonus points. And that's the update. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Uh, 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 those are the updates that I wanted to give. Uh, if you are an OACP holder, you are trying to take the OACP exam. Uh, this information you must know. Uh, I've, I've actually understood better by seeing this message. I, I understood the OACP exam better. And I'm also planning to take OACP exam probably in the next year. Since it is expensive, I'm just uh, proc procrastinating this exam. Uh, Okay, uh, no worries. Uh, th that's the message for this video. That's the content for this video. Hope you really enjoyed. Hope you really learned from this. If you really like this, uh, do subscribe my channel. Do the YouTube algorithms. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, uh, keep supporting me. Uh, thank you so much. And I love you all. I'll see you next time with another exciting one. Thank you.